Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. Today we're not making a card, but we are going to make roses. Now I've made this lovely um, bunch of roses here uh, in my um, glass jar that I um, saved from, I think it was maple syrup. Um, and I think um, it's turned out um, quite nice. Um, I made these roses using the uh, spiral flower die and I uh, you also used um, the um, flower fair um, framelits um, to do the um, leaves. Now I know technically these are not um, rose leaves because they're sort of spiky but to be honest, you know, they are paper roses, so I just thought I would use uh, whatever um, was handy. Um, I used satay sticks, uh, kebab sticks, to uh, put the roses on. And um, I've also put some roses here and I turned, I made a little bow out of paper. Um, but today I just want to show you how you go about uh, creating the roses. I found a really sort of um, easy way to do this. So you've got this... Um, uh, Sizzix um, die uh, which is protected by the foam on top because there's knives inside and I've got this paper which I got um, in the bargain corner of the Stamping Up um, website and it's T for Two designer series paper so I suppose it's it might be a um, you know sort of the last few that are left but I bought it uh, really cheaply just to see uh, what I could do with it and to be honest I've already used quite a bit of it because of I'm um, using the roses I'm making the roses so I've worked out that for this die your piece of paper does not need to be as big as this it just needs to be as big as the actual die so that's four by four and a half inches so that's enough to create your um, your die um, then we'll get the big shot into uh, place here. So this time you do not need your um, your platform. All you need is your plastic blades here. You put your <coughs> die in there. Then you put your other plate on top and then you roll it through. And that will be enough to yeah, cut it. Now you can put up to four pieces of paper in one go, so you could um, you could cut four roses in one uh, go. So that's quite handy if you're making a bouquet. I did quite a few together um, in my lot here, and that was uh, handy um, to be able to just do this once. Right. So when you separate your piece of paper, this one here, I. Um, punched out all little things so I wasn't going to waste it so we'll we'll put that we'll do that later and this one is what we're going to use to create um, the flower so what I did I broke down the paper a tiny bit by just rubbing it like this you don't have to you can just do it straight you could also wet it by spritzing it or you could also um, what I did yesterday as well with some of these flowers when I was making them uh, sort of trying out I I got a wet cloth and I just pushed it onto the cloth so that the paper got a little bit wet to be honest it nothing much made made a huge difference um, so I, th I guess as long as you've sort of broken down the fibers a little bit that's fine now I've got my stick here and here I am again with my little uh, roll of double sided tape which I've been which I use all the time. Um, I'm just going to roll a little bit of double sided tape onto here. All right? So you've got a bit of double sided tape all rolled round the top of your um, stick. Then I push the stick through the last circle in the die. So you end up with something that looks like this. Then I take this and I roll it around that bit of double sided tape so it sticks. And then all you do is twist the stick and you will notice
that your flower starts to shape and what you can do then here I didn't do this at first and I don't think you have to if you're going to just put it somewhere um, out of you know sort of out of the way you don't actually need to glue these because they'll stay and it flicks open a little bit and look you've got a flower so really all you need to do is roll it around like that you've got a flower on a stick um, what I've done this afternoon before filming I just put some glue in there glue on there and held them close so they're stuck down but to be honest it didn't need it they didn't sort of separate from one day to the next but um, I might be transporting my flowers um, so what you can do is just readjust it like I'm doing now just to uh, make it as tight as you want it to but you can just leave it like this so it just curls open again but it's sort of you know it makes a nice rose like this then what I did I took my rose held it like this got my ink pad and rolled the stick through the ink so that it makes a green stalk of course you need green so with a bit of glue on there it should um, stay but like I said it will stay uh, just being like this as well so you can now start creating something um, that you want for example now I've already made my stemmed roses but you know this is the example for you so you can just put some glue in and that will be fine I'm going to now take this one off and I'll just readjust it slightly because in my talking it's all come undone all right so I'll just take it off fold it a little bit more I'm going to put some double sided tape on there just for quickness because it does take a while for the glue to dry just like this take the backing off and put this down there like that and then what I needed it for really was for my third flower on the front here so there you go and oh, I might have to move my bow a little bit there we go so now my uh, centerpiece is finished I can put it on my desk um, and I hope that uh, you've enjoyed um, this tutorial um, it was quite an easy I think this is quite an easy way to roll up the flower to uh, create it and then the way you attach it um, is up to you you can use uh, glue you can use some soup glue I've seen people do it with a hot glue gun um, that's something I wanted to avoid using I just particularly wanted to show you how I did this with double sided tape or with glue so that you didn't have to have um, um, a hot glue gun uh, I have burnt myself on there as well so I, I don't I didn't want to sort of um, you know put you onto that uh, path towards um, hot glue gun uh, if it can be done in a different way so I hope you enjoyed this and if you would like to purchase the uh, die please do go to uh, the Stamping Up website where you will find um, that you can order it um, you can go to opheliacrafts.stampingup.net to order the die thank you very much and see you soon bye